1948, Houstonians saw the city almost double in its size. Soldiers recently home from war wanted homes, and real estate developers answered their pleas, developing neighborhoods in the new parts of Houston. One of these developers was a Jewish man named Ira Byrne, whom had recently moved from New York City. On the heels of competing neighborhoods like Sharpstown and Oak Forest, Byrne was determined for his development, Westbury, to stand out. He built 5,000 homes in the ranch style that had become near universal, but was determined to have a larger amount of variety in the home architecture and painting. By 1961, Westbury High School had opened, but what would really set Westbury aside from other neighborhoods was Byrne's design for the neighborhood shopping center. Instead of an indoor mall, which had become commonplace, Byrne envisioned and built Westbury Square. The square, opened in 1962, was designed like a miniature European village, with shops opening into an outdoor courtyard. Byrne went so far as to have a fountain imported all the way from Italy. The results were stunning. Many eclectic shops opened, including Rumpelheimer's, a candy and ice cream parlor, Cargo Houston, an early comparable to Pier 1, Cromwell's, a men's businessware store, the candle shop, which made and sold its own candles, as well as several restaurants, a bar, and a few various gift shops. There were apartments on top of the shops, but wait lists remained long. The neighborhood thrived in the 60s with Westbury Square's limelight. The schools excelled and families grew, and in 1966, Westbury Little League captured the Little League World Series championship. In 1970, the Galleria opened, and Westbury's symbol of prosperity, the square, lost its economic command. While the neighborhood does not attract the same amount of outsiders it once did, it remains a happy home for many families and original residents.